In this video, we'll state the integral test. The integral test involves taking an integral, as the name suggests. It's actually pretty limited in application because most series we'll look at will result in integrals that are too complex complicated to find. However, the integral test will have a few major applications that we'll get to in a later video. For now, let's just state it. Suppose you have an infinite series whose convergence or divergence you're attempting to establish. And as is usually the case, the terms of this series are given by some explicit formula. Let's use this expression to define a function f of n equals this same expression. And suppose this function has a few properties. It's entirely above the axis. That is to say, it's always positive. It's continuous and it's decreasing. If this is the situation we are in, then This series we're looking at and this improper integral either both converge or both diverge. And I haven't forgotten to write my limit down here. It doesn't matter what you use as your lower limit. Could be anything. That's the integral test. Let's end this video with a quick example. The famous harmonic series. The sum from one to infinity of one divided by n. Let's investigate the convergence or divergence of this series using the integral test. We define a function f of n equals 1 divided 
by n. This function is continuous, not everywhere. It's not continuous at this axis because it's undefined here. But starting at one, let's say, this function is continuous, decreasing, and positive. So the reason when I defined the integral test that I didn't just go ahead and put a specific lower bound here, we can choose our lower bound. And our lower bound has to be such that the function is continuous, decreasing, and positive. A lower bound of zero wouldn't work from zero to infinity. This function is not continuous. But from one to infinity, it is. The integral from one to infinity of one divided by n dn. We rewrite our improper integral as a limit. We take the antiderivative, which is the natural logarithm. Everything's positive on this interval, so no need for an absolute value. And we get the limit as k goes to infinity of the natural log of k minus the natural log of one. And as k goes to infinity, the natural logarithm of k goes to infinity. It's an extremely slow process, but it does happen. And this limit is infinite. This integral diverges, and what the integral test then tells us is that the harmonic series diverges. In the next video, we'll look at another standard example called a P-series.